Hello everyone and welcome back to another Razor Train video. This is video 8 in this series. All I want to do in this video is just uh, cover one topic that I forgot to mention in the math operators and stuff. The chapter or whatever. It's uh, fractions. I just forgot to tell you guys how to do them in visualbasic.net and programming and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this time in this video to show you how to do that really quick. Alright, you really don't have to do anything unless you want to, but just go ahead and just watch this video and just see what I do, okay? I, for, I don't know if I mentioned this in the other videos, but I'm going to go over it again just in case. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open Visual Studio. Alright, to do fractions and programming, all you have to do is, well, let's say, okay, let's say you want the fraction 7 over 9, okay? You know how a regular fraction looks like that? Well, in programming, you can't do that. But what you can do is, instead of doing that, what you can do is do put two parentheses down and go inside the parentheses and type in 7 divided by 9. And that is how you do a fraction in Visual Basic.net. It is the same exact thing as 7 over 9, because that's actually what a fraction is. Like, if you go take a fraction right now and divide it, and Divide the top by the bottom. That's what the number percentage, like I think, yeah, something like that is what you get out. Like, like if you get like a 25 out of 25 on your test score, and uh, you can find a percentage like that, like going by 20 by by 25, and you'd get 80 percent. So that's how fractions work and stuff in the real world. Real world too. There you go. That's kind of a hard thing to say. Pretty fast. Okay, just make sure you do use the parentheses too, though. And if you ever have like a whole number in front of the fractions, like you'll do in real math, just type like if it's eight sevenths over nine or whatever, like with a whole number eight and then seven over nine, just do oh god eight times, and that's basically they gonna tell you to do it. You know, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, I am wrong on that. Do not listen to that. If you're doing like, just put the improper fraction. Like I, I don't know what eight over nine is, but yeah, you know what? Just don't listen to me. I'm not good at math. But uh, yeah, that's how you turn a regular fraction into that to a programming fraction on one line. All right, let me show you what happens if you do it like without the parentheses. What's going to happen is, oh god, hold on, it's on here. There we go. If you take, don't use the parentheses and just put it like this and thinking, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, it's going to be a fraction already. What it's actually going to do is 7 times 9 and then divide it by 9, which that'd be like 5, maybe, no? I don't know. It gives you some answer, though. But if you want to do it like 7 times the fraction, you got to go ahead and put that parentheses down. If you don't put that parentheses down, your answer going to be totally screwed up. And you'd be like, well, what's going on here? And you'd be like, oh, I forgot to put the parentheses down. Yeah, that's hard to say. Pretty fast. But yep, that's basically how you make a fraction in programming. Alright, that's basically all the video. And, uh, ooh, good news. I got my cursor to come up in the videos now. I don't know how I did it, but... I guess you could just say I'm the man. That's right. The man. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching this, and I hope I cleared some stuff up about fractions and math. A little bit more about math and db.net. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching. So make sure you subscribe or whatever YouTube people tell you. Just do it on mine. I don't care what you do. Leave a comment. Anything. Send me a message. Send me a cool picture. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching again. It's like the third time I said it. Alright. Remember, keep watching Razor Train videos. Unless you're not cool. Okay, even if you're not cool. Alright, then. This, that's the end of the video. See you.